Why are you crying? What is the problem? You're not talking to me. Why the, why the listen, tears? Listen, please. Just stop asking these questions. Stop it. Now I know the reason you told me my sister always spoke good of me. How decent a woman I am. How I would be the best thing any man would want in his life. Really? So did I, did I know that you were, you were saying those words to me just, just to get me in bed to satisfy your selfish desires? Oh well, good. Fine. Now that that selfish desire of yours has yielded something, be ready to embrace it because it has given birth to something very big. I don't really get it. I don't know exactly where you are driving at. You want me to speak Latin before you understand what I am saying? I'm pregnant. that I got pregnant for my late sister's husband only a month she died and probably give birth to a bastard because nothing on earth will make me terminate this pregnancy I would do it but this is not fair this is not I did this so I could I could help my late sister take care of her son since she's not always around and and help you get out of this emotional trauma. This is what I get. What were you even thinking? Did you even think of your reputation as well as mine? Well, I hope you will not be embarrassed when the world gets to know of this our shameful act. Why are you sleeping this way? What did I do? Okay, what do you want us to do? Not again. Come on. Sit up. Okay? Just sit up. Relax. I know how hard this is for you. I understand the pain you're going through. I know I know it's not been easy for you to get over your wife. I know how hard it is to forget her death. But this is not the best way. You're going about it the wrong way. Listen. That's why I'm here. Okay? I'm here to fill the gap. To make you feel better. To make you feel like a man. To make you happy. To give you joy. And make you complete. That's why I'm here. Mm. 
even if I know it's really a hard task for me to do, but I'm just going to do the little I can. Okay? Um, I'm, I'm going to take you inside right now so you could um, have your bath and have a good sleep. But first, we need to take this. So, come on, let's go. Mm, let's go. Mm. Stop it! Stop, stop it! You're my sister's husband! Stop! 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 Stop it! Stop! Sister's husband, barely one month after she's been buried. Asama, your twin sister. Hello. It is an abomination. Akunu si kwadro. Akunu balwe kunu geba bem. Amen me kwano. Amen kwakwa we me. Hey. Hello. Happen. Grandma, I... I don't know why you're asking all this. Really, I don't know why you're asking. I just want to marry him so I could take care of him and my late sister's son. Simple. Is that supposed to be a big deal? <gasps> Moreover, what I'm doing should even be seen as an act of charity. We only came here to tell you so you could give us your consent. And I don't know why you're condemning me. <sighs> Moreover, I'm pregnant for him. I choose to pay deaf ears to that. Help! Grandma! Leave my house! Go! Leave my house! Send a bam Send a bam Send a Have you seen the kind of humiliation you have subjected me to? I'm going through this because I, I just wanted to help your late wife out. Nothing else. And I now see the way grandma reacted. And I'm just doing it so that she can be happy wherever she is. Just look at the shame. You see, right now I'm just very confused. I just hope... Okay, what do you suggest we do? Do we even need this village stuff? I mean, we can... We can forget about it. Go to the court, get wedded in the court. Case closed. We don't need to... to come back to her. I can't stand this shame. 
I can't stand it. It's too much. I said it. I said it. That nothing, no obstruction, no human would stop me from getting what is mine. And I got it. Asama got it. Where are you going? I am asking you, where are you going? Are you deaf? Am I talking to myself? Where are you going? And I hope you did everything I asked you to do in the house. Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Did you scrub the floor like I instructed? Yes. Yes. Good. I hope you filled up all the gallons at the backyard. Because as you know, your father did not leave any money for the spoiled sumo in this house. He did not leave any money for us to repay it. So I hope you first do what I asked you to do. I will do that when I am back from. Hey, come back here! Let's go come back here! Asa, stand up! Look at this idiot! He will do that when you are returned from school. As what? I am asking you, as what? As the man of the house, big man. My friend, will you run back and fill up the gallons before, before, before I slap the living daylight out of you? I would do that when I'm back to our school. I am already late. You are late? You are late? Whose business is that? Listen to me. Mago Lakita, eh? If I slap you, if you get now, wow, 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 a pumps. You walk. My friend, run in there and fill up the gallons before I dash you backhand. That's a game over. Idiot, what do you know? You want to go to school? Dollar, look at you, slow walker. You are walking, Johnny Walker. What when I now may I now may I leave? Keeping your face as if someone is suffering you. Why are you not the right thing to do? You won't do. I just stand there. Hi, Asa. At what? Descendant of the dead. Don't you think you're rather being too hard on this one? Eh, eh, Fina. But do you dare hold it there? Who cares? This little thing knows nothing other than to eat my food in this house. Yet he won't get fat. And the people will think that I'm suffering him. Yet he eats everything in this house. You see the punishment he's getting? He deserves it more than what I'm giving to him right now. This little thing talks and does things that are bigger than him. When his father comes, he starts running his mouth like spoiled tap.
Till the sun sets. And after what you will explain to me why you left this house with a gallon and returned with a hole in it. Idiot! Atarangi, I don't blame you. All you do is eat the food in my house. Go. Shut up your mouth! Please forgive me. Again, you are sorry. Are you sorry for yourself for your stupid late mother in the grave? Idiot. Offspring of Lucifer. <laughs> Open your mouth and wag it now, you will. <coughs> Stupid thing. I can't 
can see you have grown wings. You now have the guts to ask questions bigger than you. Okay. Since you asked, I will tell you. Now hold your ears. You hold your ears. You see your mama? Your mother is the worst enemy I have ever. She had always been in the habit of taking what belonged to me. She took what was mine. I am here now to take what rightfully belongs to me. And as for you, I don't have any business with you. But since you now have the habit of, of prognosing, you have grown so much wings that you ran to your dad and opened that, that gutter you call him out to tell him you hate Asa. Mumawa Asa, you hate me. But wait for that hatred. You will continue to see it in this house. Now let me ask you. When you told him about how I have been treating you, what did he do? Nothing. And he will not do anything. That is because I have bewitched him with the power of a woman. I have it right on my eyes. He is going nowhere. So if you like, when your father returns from his trip, you run again with this two left leg of yours to him and open that, that hole you call him out and tell him that I've been treating you badly and you will get triple the problem. I said, hold your ears. You will get triple the punishment you are getting now. Look at his ugly face. My friend, get out of here. I am willing to die. You are a wicked auntie. I hate you. You are heartless. Now get out of here. Uh, uh, come, come, come. Come back here. I said, come here. <laughs> now that you have grown so much wings, I have to cut those wings. And by that, you will not leave this house without my permission. And my food, you will not touch my food until I ask you to do so. Disappear. Hey, fact, come, come here. I said come here. Are you crying? Oh, you start smiling. Oh, I smile. I said you should smile. Smile. Why is that your teddy? Oh, Open your teeth. Where is the teddy? It's in your room. I can see that Teddy now makes you neglect your duties in this house. Tonight, I want to see that Teddy in my room. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I knew you were wicked and I hate you. You hate you. You hate me. She sees it. I do my name. I can see your mother did not give you proper home training. Overgrown idiots. Mommy, you said you love me. You said you never leave me alone. Why did you go away and leave me here? And I'm looking for you everywhere Mommy, I miss you I miss you, Mommy 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 Mommy, 
said you never leave me alone Why did you go away and leave me here And I'm looking for you everywhere Mommy, I miss you I miss you, Mommy Mommy, I miss you I miss you, Mommy He said he, all his friends has gone to that place, so I have to take him there tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please don't even start. But make sure you don't look at any girl there. You know me and my trouble.
Timothy. She should have done for me. You can finish this first, okay? Mm. Take it easy. Mm. Kidnap me. Big boy, what do you mean by me kidnapping you? She has kidnapped me. I don't know where else I would have run to. Take me to a place that I will sleep and wake up with a smiling face. Take me to a place that I will run all over the compound with a being scared of anyone shouting at me. Please, Auntie Louisa, I need a room. Why are you talking like this? Oh, you have a home. No, that is not home. That place you call a home is bondage. <sighs> grandma, I know grandma is to say anyone that lacks peace of mind, happiness, and love is not worthy to be called a home. Every day in that house comes a nightmare to me. That wicked woman treats me like a slave. Sometimes she pushed me to sleep in the open. That it doesn't show me love anymore. I don't feel love. Stop. Stop. Please don't say no. You be my new mommy. Please don't say no. <laughs> to nowhere. You have a home where you have peace and happiness. Okay? You're going nowhere. Happiness will find you in your home. Do you still want more food? Yes. Should I order for more for you? Then finish this one, okay? What do I call this madness? What did this boy do to you to deserve such human treatment from you? What? Was that for me? Oh yeah, it was for you. Is anyone else here? Eh? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so heartless? Why? Look into my face and tell me why you are the shit! Face. It's your face again, again. It will be the least best. What will your face give to me? How dare you bring in your little slimy self into my home mm. to ask me silly questions? <laughs> Pastor. Oh, you don't, don't touch him. Oh. Don't touch him. I see. Louisa, you have gone up. You have gone up with my late sister's son to come to my house to fight me, right? Huh? I am not here to exchange any words with you. I am not here to exchange words with you. I only came here to place a lot of money to you. If anything happens to Big Boy here, if anything happens to him, you will have yourself to play. Yes! Do you know what? I'm putting it straight to child rights. Yes! Towards your heel mannered attitude towards this boy. And you know what that means? Yes! You know that? Watch I go. Oh yeah. Inkita, are you done backing? 
Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm scared. I'm shivering. Who John Atosam? Listen to me, silly. <laughs> you know my husband. You know my husband has got great connections. And he listens to no one else except me. Darling, it's not magic. Neither is it voodoo. All I need to do is just to take out time, proper time, and clean up my vineyard <laughs> properly. Sachasia your fuma and pump it to him steady when he comes back. And tell him how you fool kidnapped his son, took him out in the morning and brought him back at night. And how you planned to take his life. Same when you took the life of his wife. Now you listen to me, you ugly duck. Oh, shut up. I am the one who sleeps with this man. Day in, day out. Not you. I have given him everything on a steady. This man has tasted my honey pot. I cannot differentiate between Ofen Salah and Ofen. This will break you, little monkey. I am pregnant. So you see, a part of him now lives in me. Hmm. If I were you, Lubisa, I would dust my shameless feet. Go out there. Get a man who would love me. <laughs> Get yourself a life. Get married and leave other people's marriage. You say, Lord, I got the one here. Leave my marriage alone. The one you stole. And I stole it successfully. Kill yourself. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. I'm not going anywhere. You will not leave my house. I am not going anywhere. As I said, you should leave my house. Like, I am not going anywhere. Yes! Mm -hmm. Louisa, I'm going anywhere. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 You now want to be my problem in this house. You now want to be a bone in my neck. I'm a buggy big boy in Eko. You want to be a problem to me in this house. Has in Okoro Luge Luwaro Ogodo. Ikukubia Oburuya Buro Ogodo. It is obvious this little monkey wants to go the same way his mother went. She cannot stop my happiness in this house. You will see to it. You shall see. Come here. Come here! Hmm? Talking. Don't be standing there looking at me like a monkey. How long have you been standing there? Am I talking to myself? How long have you been standing there? And what did you hear? Nothing. She would like for you alone something good. So come on. Come, come and see what I prepared for you. Big boy. Don't be like that. Come on. I prepared something nice. Something you haven't had in a long time. I know we haven't been friends lately, but you know, I just want us to make up. So come, I prepared something nice for you. Big boy. Papa. Come, 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 come on. 
come, come on, come on. Come. I'll you something nice. You will love it. I know you have to. Don't worry, I'll get you the chair, okay? Sit down. <laughs> I want to treat you like a king today. I prepared you something very delicious. Yes. Want to see? Rice and chicken. Your favorite. You love this. I made it for you and you and me. You're not sharing it with anybody, not even me. I want you to have it all. Make sure you eat everything. Okay? Good boy. Come on, smile for me. Alright. Make sure you finish everything, okay? Good. <laughs> Don't forget, finish everything. your food? No. No. Why? Because they are not hungry. Before I close my eyes and open it, you will go back to that tiny and finish up the food. Let them have your size starving you. 
Et si de l'eau on tue, tu te mets pour s'y mettre. Oh ma chou, il n'y a pas de vendre des choux. Tu veux que tu me dévoies et que ma mère Tu n'as pas besoin d'avoir ma mère de mort. Tu ne peux pas être trop à l'ombre de ton livre. Tu as un chant de bouquet de soul. Oh 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 I see. You see that food you left on the dining table? You must finish it. You will finish that food and eat everything in that place. You must eat that food. What? Move. Ah, I see. Move. 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 No, no, no problem. I, I'll buy from the next shop. Okay. I, I, I be won't ask. I heard there was an accident here this morning. What happened? How? Madam. No be smart, you know. Now so one small boy does the wrong big 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 power! And so we hear him. Moto just smash her like said tomorrow no day. Holy Moses. Hmm. Hey? Where the small boy come they run? No come they look road. Uh, uh, who, who was chasing the boy? Why was he running? This one where they ask me now. Who I want ask? How I want take no way till they pursue the boy. Eh? No 
nobody know what they pursue. Eh, madam, I beg you. I beg, I beg you. No, let me just remember what happened this morning. Because if I remember them, now somebody they do me jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. Since that morning, rich now, I never test anything. No, be even water. Yes. Hey. Now someone picking the day die. Hey. Eh, but where the where the boy? What thing gonna happen? Where 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 is he? He died. Eh? He died just like that. And also the mumu driver take wrong. He no go better for that driver. But anyway, we in there. Amen. If the same as somebody like you die, I for not even for not to pay me because you don't need to die. For for that small boy to just spy like that, ah uh ah, -uh. madam, you get us. You check uh, 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 uh. Stop and then. Which kind of mumu talk be that one? Which one be if my mate die? What kind of joke is that? Oh, yes. I play how they play with you. Don't mind me. Uh, um, but the, the thing with the pay me, now that driver, how can he be so heartless? Hit a little boy and run away. He not even say make a carry and go hospital. My dear, as I did, they cry. They carry phone, they call for help, they call police, they call everywhere. Now so, boo, bah, another woman appear from nowhere. He? he kidnapped the dead body. He carry and go. Nobody know his name. Nobody know where he's from. And the mumu boys when they around, they will call themselves men. They did here. Sit down, not that woman. Come kidnap small picking dead body just like that. Go. If not only me one, that woman no go carry that dead body. Go. After they go say, what do men they do? Women no fit one. Now name one, only me. Hey. I no go carry that dead body. Come out. Um, uh, but, but, but uh, where they carry the dead body? Go. Mm -mm. All I'm there. What is what is what is they try to talk now? So now me talk pass. I be waiting. I don't understand because I the I the nyan give you. I be waiting. Eh? I won't take no way that the blood. You carry yourself, go mochari. Go out the mochari where there for this area. Where there for your own village. Go find where the body day. What tell me that one now? Eh? Ma ma Madam, calm down now. Whenever they fight. I beg I go change that for you. No vex. It, it shows that I was feeling for the boy. Eh? It didn't pain me when I hear him. I, I was very sad. Nobody no. feel for the boy past me. And as I don't tell you finish so, I won't make it just a match. They come out from my shop. Oh yeah! They come out, I go change that for you. <laughs> And you never get to call to tell me. My love, calm down. I need you to understand it from my own point of view. Understand me. I didn't want to talk to you about it because I didn't want you to get all worked up. Moreover, this is not the first time this is happening in this house. This is what I have been passing through since you traveled. That boy hardly sleeps at home. Kamsi goes to God knows where and comes back the next day. He sleeps out. Sometimes he doesn't even come home at all. And then when he manages to come back, when I caution him, the next thing that comes out of his mouth is, you are not my mother. You cannot tell me what to do. You know, even, even the last time he did this, I almost got pissed. He, he said I, I, I should ask you about his mom, that you know what happened to his mother. Wait. Kamsi said that? Oh. My love. Just calm down. Because I am tired as well. I'm as confused as you are. But we need to take it easy. Please. Uh, and my love, when Kamsi comes back, we need to talk to him. Because it is obvious that he has been conniving with that Louisa lady. For him to have mentioned that, it simply means that she has been poisoning his mind against you. Listen. I don't want you to get yourself all worked up. Just... Take some rest. Sit down. I mean, relax. You just got back. And this is why I didn't want to even talk to you about it in the first place. Do you know what? I am going out there in search of my boy right away. I am going to get the police involved in this. Police? No, honey, honey, wait, wait. Listen, listen. Listen. Let me talk to you. It's all right. It's all right for you to go to the police. There's no problem at all. Look at the time. You just got back. It's late. Just, you know, go in there, take your bath. And guess what? Come. 
on Cass. I actually prepared your favorite something you will love. So I'm just going to take off your shirt, throw in the water in the bathroom, and then um, get you to have your bath. Okay. Wrong with that lady. I wouldn't know. Babe, that lady is up to something. I can't feel it. She's up to something. <laughs> I beg you, I beg you, don't, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. Please, please don't kill me, please. The secretness and the sanctity of your blood. 